All right, what's up, YouTube? It's Miguel and Diana, and we're leaving the gym now. Go to North Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> we just showered up, and we're going straight to the gym. It's like 8.30, and we plan to get there around well, like- We're not going straight to the gym. Oh, well, oops. Uh, we're going straight to North Carolina. Blooper. Straight to North Carolina. <laughs> we're gonna get there around sunrise to the mountains. So yeah, we're on no sleep. She's gonna fall asleep while I'm driving the first four hours. Oh, and then I'm going to sleep, okay? And I never really been to the mountains before. I never really been up north, except for recently we went to New Jersey. And Philly. And that was pretty awesome. We opened up for Brian Trejo and we got to experience Philly. And we did a music video over there. So if you guys haven't checked out Dedication, go check that out now on Urban Uprise YouTube. Yeah. So yeah, guys, we're excited. Oh man, it's and dark. And it's really dark over here, but you know what? It's whatever. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Peppermint mocha, two sugars and one cream. Two sugars and one cream. Okay. Save this for a homeless guy. That's smart. Um. Also, you should always carry snacks and water bottles in your car for homeless people. Could yes. it see me? I don't know if it can see me. Hey. hey. Okay, guys. Uh, house no way. Yeah, house. Okay. Well, here. That, that's for you. No, come on, man. You gotta take a tip. <laughs> All right. God Thank bless you, bro. Thank you. Have Thank you one. so much. Do, 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 do you guys see that? Do you see what just happened? That's called the favor of the Lord. That happens to us all the time. Like, I'm just no, kidding. you have no idea how many times we get free coffees and stuff like that. Like, people just give it to us. And that's literally God. Like, we were talking about, okay, we're going to tip this guy. We're going to tip a whoa, $2 bill. Because where did we get that from? That was actually from, like, a track that, that was, somebody yeah, gave yeah, us. Yeah, somebody gave us a track. So we passed it forward. And he literally, he didn't want to take the tip. We're like, no, bro, take it. Just throw it in there. We're just... <laughs> so wow like that literally like airplane threw it at me. <laughs> you're taking this tip buddy i'm just i'm so i'm so grateful that I, we just got that on camera because that that's just proof right that, there exactly the favor of the lord i'm telling you that happens the all lord. the time like no cap no exaggeration i'm not surprised you can see she's not surprised yeah. it's just god gets all the glory because it was on film so yeah Exactly. Like, Serve the Lord and He will bless you. Amen. Like just in little amen. things like that. Amen. It happens all the time. We're in South Carolina. <laughs> Basically. And we stopped at Waffle House because it's the only thing open. Danny's isn't open. I was just talking all this smack about Waffle House and now we're about to eat at Waffle House. <laughs> for those who don't know, I used to work at Waffle House for like six months. You worked at every Waffle House in Pinellas County. Yep, from Tarpon Springs all the way down to St. Pete Beach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, they literally had me moving everywhere. That's why I started serving. And yep, now we're about to go revisit Waffle House. But we're doing it South Carolina style, you know? South Carolina. <laughs> I don't even know if that's how they talk, but that's why I feel like everybody, everyone talks like that. In the Carolinas. In the Carolinas. <laughs> and in Georgia. <laughs> in Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. He's my love, he's my hero, he's my portion, my redeemer, always keep my heart beating, it is you who I'm seeking, you're my rock, you're my healer, you're my portion, my redeemer, always keep my heart beating, it is you who I'm seeking. Okay, it's recording. So this is my first time seeing snow. <laughs> it's not really it's, snow, it's ice, but it's, it's snow. You know what? It's close enough, okay? It's just almost the same thing. Yep. Look, snowball fight. <laughs> oh, that would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that would hurt if you threw that at somebody's head. Well, this is what I got to see when I came to North Carolina, too. Pretty cool.
How do you feel? Pretty cool. I mean, elevation here, I feel a little in my ears, but I just woke up, so let's go down this mountain. Ooh. Dang! You heard that? <laughs> King Jesus, Lord of the life, you're the true vine and your love I abide, and your truth shines every time I apply Jehovah Jireh, you're the one who provides hands to the sky, and no, this ain't a stick up, I praise on high, his name I'm trying to lift up, tears hit the ground, heart rate start to pick up, then his presence come unannounced like a hiccup. So, we're here! <laughs> we made it! I saw a little bit of snow. That way. That's pretty cool. It's really cold. <laughs> okay, the stabilizer. All right. Yeah. All right. There we go. There we are. Oh, wow. Look at so nice. Go down. Look like a midget, down. man. What the? That's up. Okay, down. <laughs> you don't know how to work. There we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. So now we're approaching some more snow. Look at that. We're about to walk on it. Okay, so, yeah, yeah this is it. it. I thought you were going to like show it. You just. Okay, hold on. Just kidding. Let's see what we can do here. Hold on. Put it down. Put it down. Sit down. <laughs> Snow. <laughs> All right. Hear the waterfall? Oh, wow. Right? Water. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. How cold do you think the water is? Very cold. Let me to touch it? I dare you. No, 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 don't do it because then. You... Alright, whatever. That's cold. It's cold? Yeah, that's cold. Wanna jump in? No. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Come on, right, we got a lot it. more to see. Diane is my tour guide. You ever been here, babe? No. Okay, cool. Snow. <laughs> ASMR. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> Should have worn my non slips. <laughs> this is really cool. Right? <clears throat> yeah, I gotta be careful. This is slippery. Hiking on a mountain. With my homie. Hiking on a mountain. With my homie. Hiking on a mountain. Because it's his birthday. And I've never been on a mountain. So we're on a mountain. All right, so we're on the way to the top. We thought we made it to the top, it was not the top. It we thought we made it to the top like three other times and yep. it's, it was not the top, so. So we're on the way to the top. It's a lot warmer right now. Look at yeah, that. Look at that. that. Yeah. So yeah, it's a lot warmer right now. I did some, a uh, little bit of cardio, doing some. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> doing some scenes for the music video. I ate a pear. Yeah, I ate some an crack apple. Some crackers. Yeah. So be on the lookout for the new music video. So yeah, guys, we're gonna see you at the top. Good morning, how you doing? Good morning. Good. How much longer till we get to the top? <laughs> uh, you're at the seventh switchback with the next two. There's two more switchbacks and then right. everybody gets a lot flatter from here on up. So. Oh, so oh nice. getting close. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. you too. So we have made it to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we met when we met the top. Ooh. Yep. Did you see that? Yep. Hold on. Let's do two other ones. Over here. Wait, wait, let me get a good. What the? Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Flor Floridians be like. <laughs> Ice. Ice. <laughs> 
Can you tell we're from Florida? <laughs> <laughs> Got me high. <laughs> that looks really good. Wow. It's really quiet. Well, we made it to the top. Now we go to the bottom. We go to the water. I would highly recommend this if you like to hike if you like exercise this is like beautiful like look at this and there's literally one guy like i don't know why no one's here this is beautiful it's not even that cold anymore peaceful very very peaceful like i would have a picnic up here type of stuff but i mean we only brought like apples and pears and crackers so. dry star fruit dry star fruit Which yes awesome. yes get you a fruit dehydrator recommend that definitely best christmas present i ever got see you soon Die, they slip right under there. Yeah, it's dangerous. Uh huh. Oh my goodness. What kind of dry part? Dangerous. Yeah, it is. Shows me. Okay, watch out. It's even more slip. <gasps> you okay? Yeah. Holy mackerel. You okay? <laughs> oh my god, I got it on video. <laughs> I freaked. <laughs> I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> But Jesus is so good and I didn't die. Look at danger. Yeah. Yeah, it's freaking it's, yeah, it is slippery. There's freaking ice. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe I just got that. <laughs> I don't even want to be over here anymore, bro. I almost died. I just see my life flash before my eyes. For real? No. <laughs> but I felt like it. <laughs> Oh my god, my butt's all wet. Okay. Yeah, you gotta get up. Uh, Give me that. Okay, take that. Uh-huh. Here, you need it, you need it. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs> okay, here. I got a better idea. Okay. Okay, you're gonna crawl <laughs> to the dry spot. Crawl. No, crawl. Like, hands on knees. Crawl. Okay, good. Now, I'm gonna slide over here. You good? definitely forgot that we were making a vlog so anyways um, besides almost dying we had a wonderful time at, um, at a stone mountain state park that was pretty cool highly recommended um, don't walk on the ice 
yeah, not a good idea. Okay, uh, we just went to go have some Mexican food. It was I, but you know, I mean, my food was pretty good. But how was your food? It was all right. It just wasn't real Mexican food. It was imitation Mexican food. You know what I'm saying? Like we're in North Carolina. Like I, I'm like, what do you, what do you expect from Mexican food in North Carolina? I don't know. I had I had a veggie fajita. That was fire. But right now we are actually gonna go check into the hotel and take a nap because we are tired. Very tired. Tired. So yeah. All right. Good morning. Good morning. So we took a nap. Yeah, it was like a two hour nap. Actually. Yeah, we were yeah. hiking for like five and a half hours. <laughs> we got really sore booties to put it in, ah. in, in a nutshell. <laughs> sore glutes. Sore glutes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, traveling by car actually takes a lot on your body. But you know what? I, I woke up, I forgot where I was, and I only drove for like two hours. So our trip is not done. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. So <laughs> we have had this where where is it? Where is it there look the dog destroyed the bag it's been in our car for like three weeks that's clothes that we've been trying to like find a drop off for okay yep. we meant to do it before we even left but then we were already on the road and we're like yes. you know whatever i guess we're just gonna bring it there and then bring it back yeah look at this turn around it's a clothing and shoes drop off so we're doing it all the way in north carolina because we're so busy we didn't have time to do it before back home but hey it worked itself out. So somebody's getting blessed with some clothes from Clearwater. I got like my old work shirts that says Clearwater Beach all yeah. up on it. I'll be so, like, oh my god, this is from Florida. This is so cool. <laughs> yeah. We got some MCKO shirts in there too. Oh so. yeah, there's some MCKO shirts in there. That's pretty cool. Yep. So yeah, I just wanted to put that in there because it's pretty yeah. interesting. Literally, it's in like this almost the same parking lot because we're gonna go stop and get coffee. So pretty cool. Yep. So we went to Ross. Didn't find what I was looking for, but we got what she needed and now we ended up at charlotte or in charlotte at the mall and there's a dave and busters here there's a chipotle there's a lot of stuff to do here so we're going to take you guys along with us oh wow Okay, so I walked in about every shoe store there is here, and this is a huge mall. It's huge, yeah. We got 22,000 footsteps in throughout yeah. the whole day. So we got a lot of walking today. We didn't buy anything, but my wife is my best friend, so we just have, you know, a good time just enjoying each other's company, walking around, sightseeing, people watching. Exploring. Yeah, That's what we so, do. Uh, yeah. Nothing was bought, but you know, good memories were made and this video is being made. So yeah, we're gonna forever capture this moment. We had a good time for sure. And we came to the conclusion that we'd rather spend our money on some, on some din din. <laughs> some you know rub. Saying? Yeah, some quality time and uh, yeah. Birthday right. dinner time. Right. Okay, so we walked in that restaurant um, under the impression that we were gonna eat there. And then the lady tells me that it was an hour and 40 minute wait, but they closed in 30 minutes, so I'm like. That even makes sense. Okay, that doesn't make sense. As we were walking out, I seen, I'm gonna just show you guys the clip. Okay, I'm walking back here because I have to get this on video. Hi. Sorry, I just came to get this on video. This is done. Yeah, that's literally a demonic altar. So, no thank you. Okay, so to make a long story short, we went to this place, we went to that place, we went to that place. Restaurants close here really early. It's like a Saturday, nine. they close at 9 and 9.30. This place closes at 10 and it's like 9.23. So we're gonna make this really quick and go in there. But we're having endless hibachi and sushi for like $11.99, so. Thank you, Lord, for blessing this food. 
in Jesus name. Amen. make you feel well i want to get home so i'm not driving in it <laughs> wow that's so awesome and this loving kindness is everlasting you my rock my shield and i'll be the vessel you the captain you clothe me with love and compassion lamp on my feet be the snakes call it peace with a fashion grace give me strength like samson for the trials that i'm facing i praise while i'm waiting because your love so contagious and amazing you stole my heart from the temple home invasion <laughs> Okay. Oh, Yo, first time in the snow. Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> what were the odds? Yeah. Like, I literally the was day. praying in secret, like, Lord, just let him see snow fall. I don't remember seeing snow fall because I was like four when I lived in Connecticut. So, this is beautiful. This is awesome. <laughs> So as you can see, we had a pretty eventful day. It was very long. Our bodies are tired. Yep. We're going to sleep. We sleep with <laughs> bonnets because we're dreadheads. You yep. know what I'm saying? So like the cotton gets all up in our dreads. The bonnets protect our dreads. Don't judge me. I'm still a man, even though I wear a bonnet. You feel me? <laughs> so look handsome with your bonnet. He doesn't yeah, like. She rags. likes my bonnet. So as long I as do. my wife likes my bonnet, that's all that matters. <laughs> She enforces the bonnet. I do. Okay, yeah. yeah, I don't let him go to sleep unless he has his bonnet on. And then when I see he wakes up in the morning, he doesn't have his bonnet on, I yell at him. Yeah, because she's the one that does my dreads. Exactly. So, yeah, I can respect it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so. But that's besides the point. The point is we had a very eventful day. It was very fun. And then to top it off, I saw snow for the first time. Yeah, like falling. Cool. I saw snow like in the mountains and it was just like on the ground it was just ice and i was like oh okay but <laughs> to see it fall is beautiful like it is yeah. it's it's pretty special like the way that it falls like like it's like it floats you know what i'm saying like it's pretty cool it's something that i've always wanted it to experience my whole life and i got to experience it the day before my ver my 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 my, my birthday <laughs> your so, birthday my birthday <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah god is good and another thing that's pretty crazy is the unit number of this hotel is my birthday two seven so my birthday is literally in 20 minutes so happy birthday happy to birthday you. Happy okay yeah we're gonna go to sleep yeah, we're tired <laughs> we're tired we, we have gotta to wake up early yeah so good night so this is our room number that we did not pick it was just given to us that's my birthday. February 7th. That's today. Today's my birthday. What are the odds? We came here for my birthday. Yo, look at this. I've never seen snow. This is what I wake up to on my birthday. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Say what's up, wifey. Hi, good morning. All right. Here we go. It's cold. We're Floridians. We're not used to this. We got to get gas. And we're about to see Isaiah Saldivar. Um, I do have to check out first, so that's kind, oh, of, that's, okay. that's kind of important. Definitely important. We're about to drive off here without checking out. It's no bueno. Yeah, good job, Maya. I'm proud of you. Okay, so we just got to the church and we just saw Isaiah Saldivar walk in. So we're pretty excited. We're about um, to go walk in ourselves. Yeah, about to go walk in. So. Everybody's getting out of their car. Yeah, let's do this. All right. When I first got saved and the revival broke out, I had this radical encounter. Some of you might have heard my testimony or seen it online. 
God really started moving in my family. My parents were having troubles in their marriage. My brother was a big time drug dealer in our area, not saved at all. We were partying every day, drinking every day. Everything you can think of that was not of God. I had my whole life planned out. My sister was actually away at college, was complete into science and intellectualism and was really you know, an agnostic or atheist or whatever you want to call it. My little sister was the only one really going to church in my family. Now we had, get, we had gotten raised in church, but there's a lot of people watching even right now that were raised in church, but not raised in Christ. Christ. You can be in church your entire life and still not be saved. We know the devil goes to church. The devil knows the Bible. The devil uses scripture. So it's not enough that we go to a building. And this is really one of the main issues we have right now in the American church is as pastors and leaders, we've taught people how to live for 1%. I mean, literally an hour and a half, if you don't know this, is about 1%, 168 hours in the week. So an hour and a half on Sunday, which is the only time most of us are even believers, and we're going there because you went there, so we're going there. That is 1% of your week, and that is not what God has called us to do. That is not what God wants. God is jealous God. He wants all of us. So as pastors, leaders, we teach people how to worship in church, how to pray in church, how to pray in the spirit in church. We lay hands on the sick in church. Some churches, if you're really radical, we cast out demons in the church. But in our everyday life, we don't see the move of God. So even in the Bible Belt, we have this idea that God is only good for an hour and a half on Sunday morning. And I want to tell you that our God did not tell the disciples, okay, Matthew, you're a really good drummer. Okay, Peter, you're going to play guitar. Okay, Bartholomew, you're going to be uh, the usher. And he didn't assign them all the church roles. And the disciples give up everything. And he says, what do we give everything for? Just to come to church on Sunday. This was a lifestyle. Jesus said, leave everything and follow me every single day. So this idea where we only worship on Sunday morning, this is idolatry at its finest. And I, I pray, you know, pastor, I say, Lord, where are the Jeremiah's of our generation? Where are the Ezekiel's of our generation? Where are those that are crying out like John the Baptist, prepare the way of the Lord and preaching this gospel that's an everyday gospel. And this is what people are waking up to, that the gospel is not just for Sunday morning, but God actually, and this is going to be crazy, people are not going to believe this, he wants to move in your everyday life. He wants to move on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday. And so the Holy Spirit is not just to be contained in a building. And this is what I want to say also about revival. This is not a six month thing. This is not a one year. People said, oh brother, you're radical now. You're going to burn out. Well, friend, I'm 10 years in and I'm burning hotter right now. I don't know what you're yeah. doing. For one hour on Sunday, for an hour and a half, God wants to move in your family. The same way he moved in my family, I can share stories of my sisters getting saved. Now, one of the ways God was using me and using my family to see salvation was power evangelism. You don't know what that is. That's using the power of God, the gifts of the Holy Spirit to evangelize. And that's what the gifts of the Holy Spirit are for. They're for the work of the ministry, for the body of Christ. And so I was getting radical words of knowledge and words of prophecy for family and friends, undeniable words of knowledge that was only you could know by God. And Paul says, when you give prophecies, when you give words of knowledge to unbelievers in your meeting, they're going to fall on their knees and they're going to know God is among you. So this is what I was seeing in my family. And I'm prophesying this over you watching power evangelism, the power of God. Well, my son is so stubborn. Listen, I don't care how stubborn your kid is. I don't care how stubborn your husband is. You can see your entire family saved from your prayer closet. You can see your family saved from your bedroom. God has called you. Well, my family's so terrible. That's why you're in your family. You, you didn't get to pick your family. You didn't get to pick the state you were born in. You didn't get to pick your economic status. God put you in your family, in that marriage for such a time as this, and God wants to use you to reach your family, to reach your kids, to reach your marriage. So All right, so we just saw Isaiah Saldivar did his live stream right in front of us so the church service was canceled because it was snowing which doesn't really make that much sense because it's like light snow it's like if snow could drizzle this is what it's like out here so it's not like you know but whatever you know it worked out i say it was a lot more um i don't know it was it wasn't a show you know what i mean and uh, like the churches like big churches like i always kind of feel iffy about it like because a lot of it's um the, like worship's usually kind of like entertainment and I'm not I'm not one for it but um it was it was awesome you know he definitely had a powerful word and this trip that was a wonderful way to wrap up this trip yes honestly like so the main thing about his word it was mad encouraging for me because and for her because the number one thing we pray for is for our family exactly so it was super encouraging because the word was revival in the family and he gave testimony about how everybody in his bloodline could not escape 
the power of God. So therefore, it was just encouraging us just to, to, to go harder for our family because if God did it for him, why can't he do it for us? And yep. he will. It is his will. It's not, oh, if it's his will. No, it is his will. It's just a matter of us getting down on our knees and really going for it every single night, every single day. I mean, we go for it every single night, you know what I'm saying, praying on our bed. But we can go a little harder, and that's what yeah, I got to go to war instead of, you know, just... They like, actually be on the front line. Yeah. That makes sense. Instead of just putting our defenses up, let's actually go on the offense. Yeah. But yeah, thank you for watching the video. And happy birthday to me. Bye. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, God bless you guys in Jesus' name. And make sure to like, subscribe, comment, blah, 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 all that good stuff. I don't know, notifications, whatever. I don't know, what, what is it that they do? Yeah. Okay, bye. You, 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 you are my